What's up guys, Iovo here, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make YouTube graphics in minutes with Adobe Spark. Adobe Spark is both cheaper than Photoshop and its other paid alternatives, which is completely web-based, so you don't have to download anything. There's both a free version and a premium version, both of which you can use to make the graphics I'm going to be showing you in this video. Now, if you guys are interested in supporting the channel, I've also linked my affiliate link down below, so you can save 20% on the premium version. Version. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is click on create a project and make this project from scratch. While there are a bunch of templates you can use, we're going to be building this from the ground up and we're going to go on custom size graphic. Here we can actually choose between standard sizes of different profiles and different websites. So we're going to go to social profile and then go to channel art and then click on next and it's going to load up our interface. So within Adobe Spark, you can edit everything on the right side and as you have different elements selected, this menu is going to change. But the first thing we're going to do is add and go to photo and we're going to upload a photo and this is going to be a banner template that we can use to make sure that our banner is uh, equally visible on all devices. And I'll link this down below in the description as well. So once we select the image, we're going to pin this to the background since this is going to be fixed with the background. And once we're done our banner, we're going to remove it. So as you can see, this image shows us exactly where the safe text and logo area are so that your text and logo will show up properly on any device. And we're going to use this as our guidance. Next, we're going to add our channel art background. So I just looked up crumpled paper and found a really cool one. So we're just going to go to add photo and we're going to upload this image and you can upload any image you want. As long as it's uh, 1920 by 1080, anything larger would be preferred, but as long as it's large enough that it doesn't get too distorted once you import it. Once we add our image, we're going to click on move freely because we're going to resize it. And once it's added, I'm just going to drag it so that it fits the entire background. And then on the right side, we can see all the different settings. So we're actually going to lower the opacity of this for now, just so we can see what the safe area is. But if you also wanted to, you could go to filters and add a bunch of different filters you wanted to, or if you wanted to enhance the photo, you can also do that. We're going to be using this later, but for now we're going to keep this image with its default uh, settings. And we're going to add our logo. So we're going to go to add image again click on photo once more and then upload one more photo. And this time it's going to be the logo. So we're just going to click on the image. And once again, we're going to move it freely because we don't want it pinned. So we're just going to resize our logo and then move it, but make sure that it fits completely within its permitted space so that it looks good on all devices. And that should be good. I'm just gonna move it down a little bit with the arrow keys. And we're also going to go to filters and enhance this photo. We're going to make it a little bit brighter. And I think that looks good. Now the next step is to add some text. So we're going to go to add once again, go to text and then click on inner beauty. And we're going to have it load up. You could also go to text and then you could add your own text if you didn't want to use the templates, but I thought this looks pretty nice. So we're just going to use it and I'm going to change the channel name to vlogs daily. And I'm going to click on done. We can resize it by dragging over here or changing the size. So I'm just going to make this smaller and then move it over here. And I also want to change the color of this text. So I'm going to go to the right side and click on color. And I'm going to go to change color and use the eyedropper tool so it matches the logo. And there we go. Finally, we're going to put our social media handles on the bottom. So I'm just going to add photo and this time just add all of the social media icons to this banner. And the last thing we're going to do to our banner is add our social media handles. So we're going to go to add and then go to text. And we're going to look for a simple one that we can use. And I like this young wild free one. So I'm just going to click on it. I'm going to click on the text to edit it. And then I'm going to just type in at vlogger12 as the username, click on done. We're going to change the color of this as well. So we're going to go to color 
and we're going to click on change color and we're going to make it match the logo once again. And that's perfect. We're just going to resize it. Now, before we download this banner, we're just going to change the project name to banner YT. You can make it whatever you want. We're going to go over here and make this background fully opaque so it gets rid of the template behind it. And then we're going to click on download and we're going to download it as a PNG and click on start download. And there we go, our banner is done. It's time to make the profile picture. Making our profile picture is just as easy. We're going to go to custom size and this time we're just going to make it 500 by 500 and click on next. And once the canvas is ready, we're just going to follow the same steps we did previously, except make it friendly for a profile picture. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the same background by going to photo and uploading the same papered, same crumpled paper background because I thought it looks nice and I like having my profile picture and my banner matching in color. So I'm going to do that. We're not going to be moving this background, so we're just going to pin it and it should just fill up the entire canvas. After you want to head over to filter and add a blur to it, I'm just going to blur it a quarter of the way because I think that looks best. And once we have the background done, we're going to go to add and add some more text. And I'm going to choose the same font as the one from the banner and make it say VD. And I'm going to keep both letters on fill because I think that looks better. And then we're going to drag the text to make it larger and align it to the middle. And then finally go to the shapes and add a rounded rectangle and modify the, the padding so that it looks better. And I think that looks really good. So I'm going to leave it as it is. And then I'm going to go to the post name, make this profile pic, and then click on download and also download this as a PNG. And that's all it is. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.